what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel and today today I'm just going to do a little little video for you today because today in this club's history today is a very big day yesterday this video will be will hopefully be going out the same day I've done this video quite late but it is the 10th of May and that if you're a West Ham fan you will be fully aware that that is a very big day in West Ham United history so I'm, so I'm just going to go through that today with you um, have some fun, give you something to do in lockdown. Um, I know I haven't been uploading much, but um, I'm going to be uploading as much as I can. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you smack a like if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so um, there's two massive bits of history that happened on this day, the 10th of May. Um, going back from a few years and... Um, a few more years than that. So the first, so the first one in history was te the 10th of May, 1980. Um, so that year, that day, um, West Ham United. Um, I don't know whether it was the first time in their history. Comment down below if you know if the comments are turned on. Um, was that the first ever time West Ham United won the World Cup? Uh, won the won the FA Cup? Sorry. So yeah, West Ham United did beat Arsenal one 0 Um. Oh, so Trevor Brooking scoring the goal. We beat the Arsenal's, we beat them Gooners, um, and we did walk away with the prestigious FA Cup. So that was a massive part of the history of West Ham United. Um, and the second bit um, was on, I'm sure this will ring a bell if you don't already know, the 10th of May 2016. Now that was probably maybe the second or the third biggest day in West Ham United history when West Ham United left our beloved bowling ground Upton Park um, and we did shot off to our new debatable London Stadium so on that night um, there was lots of dramas on that night um, we were due to kick off at 7.45 and play Manchester United in the final game at the bowling um, and the kickoff was delayed because lots of West Ham fans were throwing bricks at the Man United bus. Um, and then I think it kicked off at half past eight in the end, if I re if I remember rightly. Um, the game went up and down, up and down. We got the upper hand at the start, one nil up. Um, brilliant goal. And then two goals, one from Martial, I think, to make it two one to Man United. And then um, comes in Antonio from from a um I th I think if I remember rightly four years ago this was it was an Antonio header and David de Gea nearly saved it um and it just went in and then Dimitri Payet um for the winning goal I think it was the 87th minute you could not write it um kicked one a free kick in the head of Winston Reid into the back of the net Upton Park erupted and that was the end of the game where the final game at Elton Park, you couldn't have wrote, wrote it, it was West Ham United 3, Manchester United 2. So, obviously, as you can tell, those were very big um, talking points in in West Ham history. I said about the FA Cup, winning the FA Cup, that was amazing, beating um, Arsenal, um, and then leaving the bowling where we'd been there for, um, I think it was 100 years, I don't know, uh, well, we left in 2016, I don't know, um, and we left and we farewell to Farewell Bowling and um, we we went to the debatable, as I said, London Stadium. Um, so that was an amazing night, I didn't get to watch it, but um, the memories, um, actually, two seconds, I'll be back. Sorry about that guys, I am back, I've just bought something that I got for my parents um, for my birthday I've just slung it out just got it out and it's a piece of memorabilia um, for the for the magical last night at Upton Park so as you can see down here it says the last game at the bowling ground Tuesday the 10th of May 2016 West Ham 3 West Ham 3, Man United 2, and I'll just read it out. Winston Reid scores the winning goal for West Ham in the final match to be played at the bowling ground. Captain Mark Noble was named man of the match. The game was followed by a 45-minute celebration of the history of the ground. 
So we're going to start with the pictures. We have up here of the final, um, of the um, just some players at the end and then the score here. So it was 3-2 with Diafra Sacco, Mikel Antonio, Winston Reid, Anthony Martial getting the two goals for um, Man United. And then here, this is my, um, here is in, in, the, in the celebration for it, um, where it's big, um, kind of. Um, fireworks gone up, and that was the end of the um, end of the celebration. And then here we've got the two captains at the start, and then we've got down here we've got Slavon Bilic and his coaching staff. Obviously, Slavon Bilic played for West Ham. That ground meant a lot to him. Then obviously, Mark Noble, lifelong West Ham fan, and an emotional night for him. And then the man himself, Paolo Di Canio. The West Ham shirt with captains, that's Mark Noble's shirt. And then a West Ham United ground. And then here is the dressing room before. So, as I said, that's a really cool piece of memorabilia I got of that night where we left the bowling. So that was just a quick video today. It turned out a bit longer because I forgot about that. So, two things to remember from this video. Two massive parts of history in the history of West Ham. We won the FA Cup 10th of May 1980 and we left the bowling ground at Upton Park on the 10th of May 2016. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it any time, smack a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Stay safe. Boris is doing an announcement tonight. I don't know what's going to happen, but stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. Um, and has anyone one thing more to say? Come on, you irons. Stay safe, guys. See you next video.